Hey, it's John, your Gen X grandpa, with another quick tutorial for you. I'm going to show you how to use an SD card with your Fire tablet from Amazon. So the first thing you're going to need, obviously, besides your tablet, is a micro SD card. That's one of these little things. It's about the size of a postage stamp. They're very easy to lose. When you buy it, it'll probably come with an adapter like this that you can insert in your PC or your laptop. But this is the part that we're gonna put in our Fire tablet. So uh, the thing to pay attention to here is that there is a little slot here on the side and you open that up and that is where the SD card goes. Now your little cover may have come off. They do tend to come off. And if it has, that's fine. The key to remember is that the print goes towards you and the little tab is pointed up. So from your vantage point, I'm gonna you're gonna be looking at it from the back. But the tip goes towards you. Now this is a quite a recessed slot, so I'm gonna use my adapter here to put the SD card in there. I'm gonna cover it up. And then depending on your card, whether it's formatted or not, you may get a message that comes up and prompts you to format your SD card. If you don't get that message, you want to tap and go into your settings. And then once you are in your settings, you want to tap storage. And once you're in the storage settings, you should see the SD card listed and with a number of options. So the first thing that I would recommend is to tap erase SD card and go ahead and erase everything on that card. And then once that's done, you can check uh, the options that you want to use with your SD card. Now, the only ones that I recommend using, especially on an older tablet like this one, is to store your audiobooks and your books and your periodicals on your SD card. Now, one of the benefits of this is it lets you move those books and things from device to device if you don't have enough space on your current device. Um, and you can choose to install apps and things like that. You could also put movies and TV shows on there. So Amazon Prime gives you the option as well as Netflix to download movies and episodes to watch at a later date. And if you have an SD card that's appropriately fast enough, that's certainly something that you can do. But I recommend storing audiobooks and your digital books and things like that. Now, do remember that when, if should you choose to remove your SD card, you do want to select to safely remove your SD card and then tap OK. And then once that's done and you the SD card disappears, you'll see two options, mount SD card, which would allow you to put it back in, which it does automatically when you put it in the first time, or erase. We want to take our SD card out, so we're going to go ahead and pop that SD card out here and pull it out of the device. There you go. It's that simple, and you can transfer books and things there. When you get an audiobook, it'll automatically go there. When you download an ebook, it will automatically go to your SD card. There's nothing else that you need to do. And the benefit of this is that it saves space on your local device so that your apps can have a little bit more space to store data and things like that instead of your books and your audiobooks and your movies and things being stored directly on your device. Your device will run smoother and it will be less likely to crash. As always, if you like this kind of stuff, I hope it earned a like. Hit that like button. And if I earned your subscription and you want to be notified of when more videos like this come out, hit the subscribe button and tap that bell as well. My name is John, your Gen X grandpa. Until next time, bye.